Hey, I'm Viviana Miedema. I play for Arsenal and the Netherlands. I think obviously after winning it in 2017, it's not really um, the same team anymore. I think a lot of countries around us have made massive steps. Um, I wouldn't say we go in as a favourite. I think we've got, um, if everything is right, we can be a dark horse. But I think there's countries like England, Spain, Germany who are all better than us. Um, and I'd like to put the pressure on them instead of on ourselves. A lot of different experience has shaped me in the player and person I am right now. I think going to the World Cup as an 18-year-old in Canada, other side of the world, um, with the pressure of basically making my home country world champion was really tough. Um, I think after that, obviously the Euros, the World Cup in France, uh, the Olympics last summer, they've all shaped you and, and made you more experienced. Um, I moved away when I was 17, I went to Munich. Also a massive step for me in my career, but also as a person. And um, I think looking back, although they've not all been really nice experiences, I think they've made me a lot stronger and made me appreciate football more. I think with being out in a tournament or like being injured or being sick, um, I think people always forget that it's not just you feeling it, it's not you, just you living it. It was obviously really frustrating for me to pick up COVID after the first game. Never had COVID in, in two years time. Um, but yeah, then you start realizing what actually has happened. And I think that's the moment that is even, even worse because when you first feel bad, that's the only thing you're focusing on. But then after that, you obviously focus on having missed the game. Um, I was sitting alone in my room on the FaceTime to, to Sari and Shaki at that moment. And um, to be really honest, we were all crying, obviously, when the national anthem was on. Um, it's just been devastating not to be part of the team, not to help the team. I felt really good. I think it probably could have been my Euros, if you look back at it, how I felt and obviously how I've been feeling the last couple of years. But it's also football and obviously, um, yeah, I really hope that we've got a chance to, to do things better at the World Cup next year.